to Wival News Network. This is a special marine biology news flash. For the past few weeks, our team has been covering the blue spotted stingray, Panera Lima. But its population of recent has started to decline. Let's go to our reporter in the North Reef to find out what is happening. I am here in the North Reef, as you can see. The reef is bleached, which means the coral animals are spitting out their plant partners, which are called zooxanthellae. The coral spits out the zooxanthellae, which can be attributed to excessive contact with humans, but is usually contributed to the water being too warm, which stresses out the coral, which is why they spit out the zooxanthellae, which gives them their color. Then they turn pale and see-through. And if they don't find new partners relatively soon, as in a few days, they will die. Thanks for that report. In our studio, we have Dr. Drew. Dr. Drew, we can see that the North Reef is suffering from a severe bout of potentially fatal bleaching, but do you know whether or not the blue-spotted stingray will be affected? Well, you're absolutely right, Matthew. The reef is suffering from a, a multiple of, of catastrophic bleaching events. But thankfully for the blue-spotted stingray, things may not be so bad. See, the blue-spotted stingray doesn't just eat one particular type of food and it isn't directly um, dependent upon the coral. So it has a little bit of flexibility in it, so that if the, um, one coral perhaps uh, gets bleached, it's able to find food in additional spots around that coral, and it might be able to shift what it eats temporarily until that coral rebounds. That's not to say this story is perfectly fine for the blue-spotted stingray, but unlike other organisms that we may have looked at, their picture is uh, perhaps doing a little bit better. This still doesn't mean that we shouldn't take action to try to stop this coral reef bleaching, but for this blue-spotted stingray, because it has a little bit of flexibility, it's, it's not going to be as dramatically impacted. Thank you, Dr. Drew. We have run some experiments of our own. Let's go to the lab for our findings. Yes, we have, we have run several experiments in the recently, and this is what we found, that the sea ocean population increased and that the turf algae increase in populations. The neon demofish increase. I also found that the acropora coral, coral fish decrease in populations. That the oval, I also found that the oval butterfly fish and the white, white turf reef shark decrease. So what can we do to solve this problem? Our field reporter is with Dr. Westney to see how people are conserving reefs. Thanks. I'm here with Dr. Westney. Dr. Westney, can you explain how people are saving reefs? Yes, there are lots of ways that people can save coral reefs. Um, one of the ways is to be really careful with coral reefs, so not to do too much fishing. We need to be careful not to overfish coral reefs. We need to be careful about uh, global warming. We want to make sure we don't cause too much climate change because um, coral reef bleaching and things like that that are harmful come from, from climate change. And we want to be careful around reefs uh, when we visit them, not to step on them or drop anchors on them. And then finally, we want to be um, politically active and be environmentally minded, uh, potentially donate money to coral reef conservation organizations. So there are lots of ways we can save coral reefs. Thanks, Dr. Westy. You're welcome. Thanks for that report. Finally, you may be wondering what you can do to help save the reef. Well, our reporter has some things you can do right now. Thank you. If you visit Save the Reef, you can make a simple master plan that is basically that you vote a new, a new way of saving the reef. You can also, you, you can also go to the face and face parts store and and buy you buy you a face part or a hat or we fat. You can do that by going to Akabar's face shop. You can support the the North Reefs call by doing that. You can also donate clams. Donate clams is is simply that you donate your own clams. Finally, you can write for the Wyville Times. You can, that's simply that you can write 
for the Waiver Times on any topic. Thank you. Thank you for that insight into the many ways we can protect this beautiful ecosystem. This is Wival News Network. And I Thanks for that report. In our studio, we have Dr. Drew. Dr. Drew, we can see that the North Reef is suffering from a severe bout of potentially fatal bleaching, but do you know whether... <laughs> Okay, you need to start again. <laughs> 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 have that effect on people. Are you supposed to have them in the same? We can see that the North Reef is suffering from a severe bout of potentially fatal bleach. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, Keep going, yeah. okay. Thanks for that report. In our studio, we have Dr. Drew. Dr. Drew, we can see that the North Reef is... Maybe we should... Thanks for that report. In our studio, we have Dr. Drew. <laughs> okay, that's still not working. Okay, I need to change.